hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here i am peaches october if you are a returning subscriber i would like to welcome you back in today's video we are going to be reviewing two products from juvia's place a new launch online this is the juvia's place i am magic foundation and also this is juvia's place i am magic Press powder so these are the two products that we're going to be talking about in this video and if that's something you are interested in washing and knowing how the products apply to my face then keep washing starting with primer I'm going to use the studio fix modifying 12 hour shine control primer instantly modify my face for concealer this is the, just the shade that we're using this is the Juvia's Place concealer I'm gonna go in with the Eye Magic Foundation. It just comes with a pump. It is, uh, and it says it was made in Italy and it is cruelty free. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna squeeze on here. Come on, baby. Looks like a perfect match for me. Let's see. I think I like it. I like the match. It has a little uh, fragrance scent to it. That smells amazing. I'm going to go in with one of Juvia's Place uh, foundation sticks and use it as a contour. We're going to start blending. I'll start blending underneath the eye. Um, let me go ahead and use this brush to blend. To blend it on the eye. When you are using this uh, technique of application, you blend the concealer first. I like the shape of this brush because it can go all in the corners. You twist it this way, it goes up like that. And it goes underneath the eye. And it's so full so it will blend out your product like you are using a beauty blender. I actually forgot to put some concealer on my chin here, so let me go ahead and do that. And this concealer shade is in number 13. Just in case you are wondering. I'm blending out the uh, foundation. And I'm going to just blend it as though I'm tapping, basically tapping. I'm already loving the foundation. The foundation is so beautiful. lightweight now let's take the Juvia's Place sponge this is how the sponge looks go in we always want to blend it in well I'm not even sure if this hair is dry but I'm almost ready to take it off take this um, strip off the molding strip <clears throat> well yes how you guys doing how's the new year starting with you is everybody okay? I hope you are. Um, always keep the faith whenever you are down. Pray for the best. If you're struggling through anything, talk to somebody about it. Always keep an open mind. Life is short, so always want to make sure that you enjoy the best of it. Keep your loved ones closer. Keep people who love you closer. Show them love. Give them love. And hopefully you will be reciprocated. Ooh, I messed up my sweater. That's fine. I forgot I had this here. I didn't 
blend it out and anyway oh it's already messed up I can't do anything about it so I'm just gonna blend it on the edges here so that it's not harsh this one is already blended out so let's get into this one blend out the edges so that it's not harsh Uh, here but I'll just squeeze it in and blend it into my brows go the same way we blend it into our brows you blend it and the remainder of that product you bring it down the nose see how the nose is sculpted that's how your stuff should look are you guys liking my brows <laughs> I'm getting on my game with this brow business I'm And this is how much it's giving me. And I'm going to just apply it here. I think this is a perfect shade for me. And also, I agree that it is modifying. Look here. It is modifying the face. How we are looking with the GPS Place Eye Magic Foundation and Eye Magic Powder and also the Eye Magic concealer i think that's how they call this concealer i use on my nose i'm gonna finish up this face and i'll get right back to you with my top it is actually 253 i will come back and give you guys my final thoughts but so far i've been wearing this foundation over an hour now over an hour 30 minutes and it looks amazing you guys can see looks amazing so let me go ahead and go over the claims of this foundation the claims on here says that the foundation is an easy glide on foundation it is flawless and radiant and it is a luminous complexion it also says that the foundation is lightweight and wears long that it is weightless it is a water resistant formula oh made with acerola cherries and rich in vitamin a and c so it is a skincare foundation as well this is really good and it is a medium coverage foundation i leave your skin hydrated and natural so i definitely agree with all of the claims that this foundation has um the skincare part obviously you have to wear it for a while to see if it's giving you any skincare benefits but it is a lightweight foundation. It is weightless. It is luminous. Not too luminous as the Hus Labs foundation. I don't think it's that luminous as the Hus Labs foundation. It is also not that luminous as the uh, Makeup by Mario Luminous uh, foundation. But it is definitely luminous. It's just uh, I'm not seeing that much of luminosity in on my skin. But it looks very nice. It's really beautiful. Um... It's a little bit settling in my lap lines, but not too noticeable. You guys can see it did blend out very well. I like that. I like that it said it's water resistant. I think this means that it's going to be a good, good, good foundation for summer. Um, that it is water resistant. That it's not going to, if you have too much sweat on your face, it's not going to just melt off your face. Like the first foundation that I had, I forgot the name, I'll put it on the screen, but that foundation, I wore it to, to a funeral and it just came down melting on my face because it was sunny that day and the foundation just came down melting on my face. It was so embarrassing. I didn't like the way it, it, it um, I did not like the way that foundation, you know, wore on my skin at all. So I'm glad that they have a luminous foundation now, which is water resistant and it is a good thing because that way it's going to give you a long way. It's not going to separate or when there's too much sweat on your face, too, there's too much sweat on your face. It's not going to, you know, melt off your face. Um, I'm not sure if it's water resistant. It should be transfer free. If I had noticed that one day, I would have waited to set my face and all that. Um, oh, oh. It is. I'm using this wet sponge and it is it is not transferring at all. 
it is a water resistant foundation. I can say that now. At least I can be sure to say that because it's not transferring. If it wasn't water resistant, it would have transferred on this sponge. To me, it would have transferred on a sponge, but it did not transfer on a sponge. So it is, I agree with that claim. So but now if I'm gonna rate this foundation, I'm gonna rate it 10 over 10 because you know, it's beautiful. No, I will give it nine over 10 because it doesn't have too much radiance. And that's, that's not a bad thing. It's also good that it doesn't have too much of shine in it. So that means that this will work for normal skin type, all the skin type, combo skin type. It's gonna work for all the skin types, basically. Uh, the only thing is if you do have acne, since it is a medium coverage foundation, if you do have uh, severe acne, you wanna do some color correcting before you apply this foundation because it's not going to cover up your entire face when you have acne. It's not going to cover up your, it won't entirely cover up your acne max if you have acne or if you have a real bad texture skin. So best bet would be to uh, color correct before applying the foundation that way will give you a better outcome than if you don't take those steps. So this foundation is extremely beautiful and um, definitely do recommend it all right so and i also wanted to add that this is the uh, pad, pad my graph blush in the shade love struck today and i also use the juvia's place um highlighter in the shade it's a big highlighter in the shade it doesn't have a shade here but it's a big highlighter so i had this for a while and that's why i use today for lip combo i use the coffee bean lip pencil and I just paired it with one of their lipsticks called salted caramel so these are the two that I use this is my lipstick combo for today and I like the way it turned out let me use this on here so you guys can see how it looks it's exceptionally beautiful So yeah, so that's, that's my final thoughts on the foundation and the powder. I hope you guys love it. I hope you like how my skin is looking. If you would like to have your skin blended out looking so luminous and so um, matte, because this is a soft matte powder also. So if you like to achieve this kind of this kind of outcome from your makeup, follow my steps and check out the products as well. And I'll talk to you in another video.